And uh, anyway, on this night, you want to hear about what happened with the circus? On this night, see, the, the manager says, we're going to do a remote. He says, uh, they're renting the cable. And I said, who's renting? He said, yeah, they're, they're, we've got a big deal now with the Shriners. You remember the Shriners? You know, the guys with the fezzes and all that? So, uh, yeah, they were very big in places. We're going we're gonna to do a deal with the Shriners, and they're going to pay for the remote. And they've rented a remote truck. I said, remote truck? You know, just like TV. And he says, yes, the real thing. We've rented Channel 2 as remote truck. <laughs> the real television station. So uh, that night, the entire cast, you know, all the engineers from Channel 2, they were all hired, see, by the Shriners. And uh, what I was to do was to go down to the Civic Center, and they were having the circus down there, the Clyde Beatty Circus. They had a big circus. Well... You'll never guess what I did that night. No, it's, no, not in the center ring. That's nothing, buddy. The center ring, that's, that's, that's greasy kid stuff. Somebody got the idea. Since after all, this was a chief cockamamie television station, maybe we'd have a first. I didn't realize what the first they were thinking of having was. But I broadcast, believe me, you've never seen anything like it in your life. I did a, a remote out of... The lion and tiger cage, the interior of it, <laughs> with a microphone and the engineers on the outside with a camera right over my shoulder, see? And, and Clyde Beatty is in there with me, sweating like hell. When they told him that he was going to do this, he, he looked, I, I noticed he looked strange. He said, now listen. I said, yes, Mr. Beatty. He said, now listen, when you get in there, don't you move. He says, don't you move and don't you turn your back on nothing. He says, and always keep me between whatever's in there and you, right? I says, well, of course. I thought, you know, they, they, they wouldn't do this unless it's perfectly safe. I had this idea. You know, oh, there's no problem with this. So sure enough, big as, uh, you know, big as brass and everything, I walk out in the center ring and they, they announce to the crowd that this is a first. And as far as I know, it's still the only time it's ever been done. I don't think it's ever been done again for obvious reasons. I get in the, in the center ring there, see, and, and uh, they let me in a cage. And there's a guy standing on the outside of the cage with a rifle. Oh, sure, they have to have this. He's got a rifle thing. And he's all dressed up like a ringmaster, but he's, he's got that he's got that 30 odd 6 Springfield with him. I could tell you, know, the, a lot of weapon. And he says, no, listen, buddy. He says, he says if, 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 uh, if there's any problem, he says, I, he says, I want you to, he says, I want you to move fast. This guy, <laughs> he says, move fast towards this door. He says, I'll hold him off. You'll hold them off? He says, I'll hold them off. I figured they had these old lions with rubber teeth. You know, they took the poison glands out of the out of, out of the tigers and all that stuff. See? <laughs> oh, 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 Hey, you got a little echo chamber in there? Let's just try a little bit here. Just hello. Oh, oh, oh. That's it. Hold it now. I remember the moment when the ringmaster stepped out, and the, you know, the guy with the hard, tall silk hat. You remember your super circus? Claude, uh, <laughs> Claude always had... Super Circus there, he was the ringmaster. And uh, this guy came out, and the band went, da 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 And he says, ladies and gentlemen, a first for the Clyde Beatty, Barnum and Bailey Circus, a first in all the world, a television broadcast featuring an intrepid television reporter reporting direct from the center ring with 35 raging lions and tigers. And now, here he is in the center ring. And the crowd cheered, and I look around, you know, and there I am, too, with a microphone. And then he said this. And now, ladies and gentlemen, here he is, the greatest lion tamer in the world, the famous Clyde Beatty. Well, Beatty came in the ring wearing his white, he had a white uh, jacket on, he had these white high pants with the black boots, and he was, wow, he was out of tense. I could see it, see, and I just thought it was part of his act. And he has about seven whips. Pow, pow. He goes, pow, pow, and he's got a chair, and he starts circling around. At that point, they opened up a chute, and in came, good God, he came running across the ring <laughs> right at me. It was the biggest Bengal tiger you ever see. And you know, when a Bengal tiger runs at you, he makes a funny sign. He goes, huh, huh, huh. did you know that? They have a, huh, 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 huh. and he stopped, he skidded. And he sort of crunched back, and his eyes were yellow. I mean, they were like two searchlights. And I'm on the, on the mic. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm right here in the center ring. Boy, this is exciting. Look at that beautiful tiger. He's going, <laughs> and Beatty moved like a shot. Then he goes, pow, pow, pow. 
<laughs> and this lion goes, <laughs> right behind him, the lion goes, <laughs> they got a different sound. He goes, <laughs> and the tiger's going, <laughs> and the both of them go up on these chairs and look down at me, right down. <laughs> he kept going. And then he goes, <laughs> and the paw would go up. <laughs> well, the next thing I know, the cage is filled with these mothers. And they're all looking right at me. <laughs> and their paw would go up. <laughs> And Beatty's circling around, sweating. And Beatty moves back and he says, he says, he says, cut it quick, get it, get it, get it, get it, cut it quick, cut it quick. I said, what do you mean? Ladies and gentlemen, we still have 15 minutes on the air. He says, cut it quick. The guy says, quick. And they're going, <laughs> one jumps on and runs around the ring. <laughs> and Beatty goes, pow, pow, with a cap gun, you know, pow, pow. The thing jumps back up. <laughs> well, I just thought it was a clove, you know. <laughs> Well, five minutes later, I'm out of the ring, and the guy with the 30 aught six, he's putting down a clip. I can see he's, he's got the clip, though. <laughs> he's got these nickel-plated, soft, soft-nosed thumbs on him. And I go out of him, he says, my God, he's out of your mind. I says, no, it's a great show, great show. It's a great show. You know, all 40 of our, our viewers loved it. You know, the ones that I was the clock fans, they loved it. It was only years later. If somebody sent me a copy of the Clive Beatty book, and Beatty, in one chapter, says, the most dangerous thing, the wildest thing I ever did, was the night that this guy, this television guy, is in the center ring. He says, every last one of the animals was ready to go that night. He says, I can hold off one. I can hold off three. But in 35, forget it. It's all over. He says, this guy kept walking around, jabbering away. He says, the lions and tigers were scared because of the... Because of the mic cable that ran through, they thought it was a snake. And then they thought he was some kind of a polar bear. Oh my God, I didn't realize. Here I share it's Clyde Beatty. Most dangerous mom. Huh. That's dumb and happy. <laughs>